First, the championship women's team. Jenny Almond, Susan Riley, Karen Pure, Becky Villasqueza, and Wanda Stein. And now, the members of the men's team. Jack Schmidt, Scott Ohlendorf, Peter Bracken, Patrick Dennison, and Peter Vargas. The game is... And here he is, Bruce Forsyth. Please, you're so kind, you're so generous, and you're so right. And <laughs> a welcome to Hot Streak. And nice to see you, to see you. Nice! Yes. Yeah. And it's nice to welcome back our ladies team, the defending champions. <laughs> welcome back, my darling. Well, and you know, so far our ladies state team has run up a total of $2,500, which is very good. And it, could get, and it could get even higher today because either team today could win more than $25,000. What more do you want? What more do you want? Well, are you, are you excited? Yes, yes. Well, don't get too excited because the men are going to play first. So just simmer down a bit, simmer down. All right, then, could I have the first captain here? Hello, Jack. You're a big fella. My goodness. What do you do, Jack? I'm working on a house right now. A house? Yes. Uh, how long have you been on that? Oh, a couple of years now. Couple of years? Yeah. <laughs> on the same house? Yes. What do you do? Bite your nails? <laughs> Good. And anything else you do in your spare time? Oh, ride a little bicycle. Really? Yeah. Fine. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm not even going to go into that. I'm getting too involved. All right, gentlemen, good evening to you. Good and, evening. And I hope you can have a marvellous time with this. So let's play Get Into Your Earphones. Good? There's uh, music going on in those earphones, so they can't hear what's going on. And... Uh, no, you stay right here for a moment. You stay... <laughs> I should have nailed you down. <laughs> I knew it'd be trouble. Right. Now then, you have a choice of two subjects. Jack, which one would you like uh, your team to play? This one here, you're going to play Bubbles. That means, ladies, you will play this one when it comes to your turn. So what I want you to do now, uh, Jack, I want you to describe Bubbles. <laughs> and describe it to him so that he knows what it is. Then he, in turn, if he stops shaking around, he will then pass it on to the next person, and so on. But if at any time anybody uses a key word that has already been said, you will hear this sound. We've got Rod Stewart to record that for us. Okay? You, you'll get $100 for every one you get right, and you've got to do all this in 40 seconds. Is that quite clear, Jack? Okay. Easier than carpentry. Here we yes. go. 40 seconds, so go. This is what you blow with, with gum. A bubble. Good, they're good. It's one. Um, a balloon. Um, Helium. Bottom. It, it big blows up. Uh, uh, good, you're clear. Oh, 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 oh. I knew you'd be trouble. I knew you'd be trouble. You see, you used the key word, so you've only got one. One right here, so that's $100. The gentleman's team only score $100. Oh. Ladies, do you think you can do better than that? Oh, yes. Well, come here, lovely lady captain. That's fine. Oh, that's a nice shirt. Yes. <laughs> That's a lovely... Yes, isn't it nice? That's beautiful, Jenny. And tell us a bit about yourself. Well, I'm an accountant. Yes, yes. And a student at USC. Uh-huh. And I scuba dive and horseback oh. ride and sail. Oh, do you? <laughs> now, remember, ladies, remember what you saw over there. Keep the clues simple, especially to start with. But when you get further down the line, that's when you've got to use your imagination and go round the subject a bit. And please, look out. Do not repeat a key word, if you can help it. So, into your earphones. Good, good, good. They are well trained, aren't they? <laughs> That's fine. And your subject is Tom Selleck. What a subject for the <coughs> ladies. Tom Selleck. There we are. No, you can't join in. Right. <laughs> Here we go then. 40 seconds. Go for it. Magnum P.I. Star. Tom Selleck. Good. That's one. Handsome. <laughs> Television. <laughs> Tom Selleck. Good. That's two. Well done. Gorgeous guy, lives in Hawaii, plays on... on Surfer! A, he's, he's, um, in the, um... Rugby, uh... No, he's, he's, he's a celebrity. A, he's a celebrity. Tom, Tom Magnum P.I. Yeah. yeah! Yeah, no, no... Tom Magnum P.I.? Um, it's not that same. Oh, 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 my God! Magnum P.I. Magnum P.I. Oh, it's a real name. Tom Selleck! Yes, yeah, good! That's three. Okay, okay. Um, he's got a mustache, brown hair, curly, sexy. 
symbol. Sex symbol? Burt Reynolds. Of course! Keep coming, keep coming! Oh, bad luck, bad luck, bad luck! It was, it was Tom Selleck, my love. Tom, oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, are you love him? I yeah. adore him. Oh, well, well, make do with me, will you, for now, dear? I'll take you. Take me for now. But you got, there we are, you got three right. So that's $300, you've got it there. Well done indeed. So there we are, gentlemen, we've got 100. Ladies, we've got 300. There'll be more hot spins coming up right away. We'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to Hot Street. Now, wasn't that a quick jiffy? I love a quick jiffy, don't you? Good, good, good. Now, what's going to happen is this. We're going to play three rounds in all. The team that are ahead at the end of the three rounds will play our bonus game, where there's a chance to win an additional $24,000. Oh. The gentlemen are trailing with $100, the ladies are winning with $300. Oh! So we're going to start... As the gentlemen are trailing, we're going to let you have first go again. So would we come and rotate and have a new captain here? The old, here we go. <laughs> Keep you moving here. Now, Scott, tell me a bit about yourself. Well, I'm uh, in electronic distribution sales. Yes, yes, yes. And I enjoy the outdoors, and I'm a thrill seeker. All right, but I'm sure you're going to be a great captain. I am. I hope so. So if you'll gentlemen get into your earphones, nice and quick, Good, good, good. Quickly, quickly. That's fine. Now, here's the choice of subject. Which one, Scott, would you like your team to play? This one? Mm -hmm. You've chosen peanuts. Ladies, you will play the other one. Good. In you go there, Scott. And 40 seconds you have for this to pass it along the line. You have 40 seconds. Go! An elephant sucks it up through its nose. Um, it, uh, Inhales. It's shaped like a figure eight. Uh, Trump. Um, it uh, has nuts in it. A peanut. Oh! Yeah, it's um, it's one. It's a nut, and oh, oh, nuts. It's a nut. It's a nut. Oh, I say, we may never get to you. <laughs> Isn't it a shame? And he's such a nut. What do you do for a living? I'm a student. A student? Yeah. Are you a waiter as well? Yeah. I thought so. I thought I'd seen you in one of the restaurants. <laughs> such a time. You do just side orders. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> You've got one right, so one right and one hundred dollars. You have two hundred dollars now. Oh. You're winning already. You're winning. Got to have a new lady captain, please. In you come, Susan, right here, and very nice to meet you. Thank you. And and tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm an elementary school teacher. Really? Oh, I wish I had a teacher like you when I was a oh, kid. Thank you. Yeah, it's fine. And how old are the children? Second grade. Oh, seven how? and eight. Oh, seven and eight. Oh, so we should have lots to talk about. <laughs> yes. And uh, anything else you can tell me? I have a three-year-old son, As well. Kyle. Yes. And I collect antiques, in particular antique quilts. Oh, lovely, lovely. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> right. <laughs> that was a bit insulting, wasn't it? <laughs> but there we are. I'm sure you're going to be a lovely captain, girl, I mean, ladies, on with your earphones. On with your earphones. That's good. And the subject you were left was squeeze. Squeeze. All right, then. In you go here. You have 40 seconds to do this, so go for it now. When you wear a girdle, um, t fit into it. Squeeze? Yes, yeah, good. That's one. Um, you, when you get a pimple on your face, you'd like to do this to it all the time. Squeeze it. <laughs> or you do this to get the juice, you do squeeze. Yes, yeah, good, good, good. That's lovely. If I gave Three. you a very tight hug, I would uh, embrace, squeeze. Yes! Yeah. A piece, 400, you have 700 dollars up there. Well done indeed. Oh, and we'll come up with another hot streak, a final round after this jiffy. You've got me so excited. Let me really go. Welcome back. Welcome back to Hot Street. As you see, the gentlemen are trailing, really. With 200, the ladies have 700. So this is a crisis. Yes, we know you're all right, but this is a crisis, gentlemen. There's one difference in this part of the game. We do go to $200 a piece, so it is possible for you to get out of trouble. But if you don't get three right, 
the ladies have automatically won. You do realise that. I don't want to put added pressure, but this is crunch time. OK, so let's have a new captain. Scott, get to the end of the line there, and up you come, Peter. How are you? Just fine. See if we'll have a bit better luck with you. Uh, tell us a bit about yourself. Peter, what is it? Well, I'm a Cal State LA nursing student. I'm working You're a, nurse, a male nurse? A male nurse. Oh, you sure you come to the right studio? I, I believe so. This isn't General Hospital. <laughs> no. I love it. Do you like the program? Do you like General Hospital? I think it's, I think it's marvellous. I really do. It's, it's made me what I am, a hypochondriac. <laughs> Put on your earphones and good luck. Remember, it's $200 for each one you get right. And you have the choice once again, Peter, because you're leading off, which ones you want. I'll take this one. Take this one, you'll take Mickey Mouse. That means you'll play the other one. Right, Mickey Mouse is it. Good luck to you, Peter, for this. Hope you can lead them away. Here we go, 40 seconds now. It's a famous little animal and it's a cartoon. Woody Woodpecker. It's a famous uh, little animal and it eats cheese. And it's, it's a, a cartoon. Jerry Mouse. It's uh, a famous cartoon. <laughs> He's been around for 50 years, 100 years. Uh, it's Mickey Mouse. Yes! All right, let's nice one. It's a famous Disney character. Oh! oh famous. Oh, 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 oh. The girls have won. The ladies have won. Now then, because you have won so convincingly, I mean, you couldn't have won any better than you have, we're going to give you an $800 bonus for that, oh, because fantastic. we're going to take it, you've got all far right, because you deserve it. All right, then? All right. So we're, uh, we're sorry to lose you, we really are, but you are losers. <laughs> And losers have got to go, but you're, you know, we have some little prizes for you and your car parking will be validated. <laughs> and what can I say? Sorry, guys. Sorry, but thanks for playing Hot Street. Come on, come here to me. We're going to have some fun now because what happens? We go into the bonus now. This is where you can get an additional $24,000. How about that? And you girls can do that. I mean, ladies, what am I talking about? I keep all this and now, back to Hot Street and Bruce Forsyth. Time's running out. Come along now, come along. Come on, how do you have them? Come on, who's going to be captain? Who's captain? Ginny, yep. you're yep. going to be the captain. I can see you're a born leader. A born leader, I'm sure you're going to be. Are they born followers? <laughs> well, we'll soon find For out, but they've followed you very well up to you. So good luck with the bonus round. Now, what's going to happen this? You play this game exactly opposite to what we've been playing earlier on. That's all it is, really. What I'll do is I will give a subject to Ginny, and she will give me the four most obvious words she can think of, and then you will hit those words and hit them hard. Because every time you hit them, you will get $300 a piece. So the money's adding up. And very important, in the third part of this bonus round, that's when you get the big hit. All right? Back into your earphones. Good luck again. Nice and quick. Good, good, good. Have a look at that while we're waiting. Okay. And your first subject is Christmas. Give me the four most obvious words. Okay, Santa Claus. Santa Claus is good. That's Presents. one. Presents is Tree. two. Three is three. Oh, God. Um, oh, December. December, that's fine. That's lovely, lovely. Santa Claus, presents, tree, and December. You happy with that? Yeah. Good, that's fine. Stop the music in the earphones. And down you come, ladies. That's good. Now, what happens here is you have 20 seconds. That is five seconds for each person in the team. Is that all clear? Becky, you are going to start it off. Remember, it's $300 a piece. The subject is... Christmas, go. Tree, presents, go. Santa Claus. Two. Um, uh, presents, tree, oh gosh. Um. Next, Santa Claus comes down the chimney with his pack of gifts. There's snow, icicles. Karen. Right off the red nose, reindeer, Santa Claus, ho, 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 mistletoe. Um. Next. Jesus, lights, star, tinsel, gifts, presents, boxes. Yes. Oh, no, we have three. No, you've only got three. Oh, the one you missed was December. Oh. But very good, they were very good, oh. weren't they? Oh, three right, and as I said, three hundred dollars a piece. So you have nine hundred dollars up there. So that's a good start. That's a good start. Back to your earphones. Having a good time. One more. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? She's beautiful. Now then, have a look at this while they're putting their earphones on. The next subject is the zoo. So the foremost obvious words. Okay. 
Uh, cages. Cages. That's good. Uh, That's animals. one. Animals. Animals uh, is two. Oh, elephants. Elephants is three. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, lions. Lions. That's all right. Don't worry. Okay, you've got cages, animals, elephant, and lions. You happy? Relax. Oh. All right. Stop the music in the earphones. Down you come, ladies. Down you come. Okay. You're in a good mood, so keep that mood going. You're fine. Okay. The subject this time, Becky, is the zoo. Go. Animals, cages, good. take One. kids. Um, it's, there's monkeys and bears and lions and tigers. And good. Two. Giraffes. Two. Elephants. Yeah. 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 Indeed. So that's lovely. You've got $300 a piece for that. Four times that is $1,200 plus $900 is. You have $2,100 out there. Good. And coming up now is the big hit, I promise. Because if you get all four next time around, you'll be playing for ten times that amount. You will be playing for $21,000. Good luck to you. You deserve it, you really do, each and every one of you. So get back there, you've got to get all four right, remember? I'll tell you about that afterwards. Into your earphones nice and quick. And here is your last subject. There, Ginny, okay. Okay. Subject is Cinderella. Give me the four most obvious words. Okay. Stepmother. Stepmother is good. Glass. Glass is good. Slipper. Slipper, very good. Mm -hmm. Prince. That's three, and Prince is four. Yes, even the audience like that. Good. Even they're happy about this one. Stepmother is one, glass, slipper, and Prince. That's the one. You happy? Yes. They're happy. We're all happy. Stop the music. In the earphones, out you come, ladies. Good luck for the big hit here. Remember, this is for $21,000, but you're going to get all four right. Not one, two, three, but four. Really go for it. Becky, you're going to start us off again. The subject is... Cinderella, go. Prince, glass Good. slipper, One. fell asleep, Two, two three. P fairy princess, fairy godmother. Um, Mice, uh, midnight, prince, kiss, <laughs> slipper, charming. Next. The mice making a beautiful dress. She had a fairy godmother that helped her. She was Next. Wicked stepmother. Yes! <laughs> As, what did you say, say Jenny? You said we're rich. I said we're, we're rich. rich. <laughs> and you're all going to go shopping tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Oh, lovely. And you all, you all know what you're going to buy, I'm sure. A yeah, big then. steak, I'm hungry. A big steak? You're... Wanda's hungry. She wants a big steak. Well, I hope you get it by now. Well, if you're feeling hot and you want a streak, join us again every day of the week. Nice to see you and bye-bye. Thank you.